Welcome back to Saturday AM. Thanks for staying with us. Now, this morning, we're deciphering dress codes to make sure you're wearing an appropriate look to an event. Stylist Judy Gilroy has stayed with us. Judy, hi again. Hello. We were chatting earlier on about receiving an invitation in the post and wondering with what on earth you're going to wear. With these dodgy dress codes, what do you wear? <laughs> what in God's name is dressy casual and summer chic? And, and, and what's appropriate? Because do you know what? If you're going to an event and you don't feel like you're dressed appropriately, you're just going to feel awful. You're just not going to feel comfortable. And that's a big key to style. But I would say that the secret for women is that they can pretty much get away with everything. So we're going to show you a couple of looks now. Lovely. We'll start with you, Miko. So what sort of an event are we thinking for this lovely nude number? So I think this one could work for either semi-formal or even black tie. We're seeing a lot of these self-portrait style dresses mm. on red carpets. It's not just all about the longer lengths. So I've gone for some really dainty pieces of jewellery uh, from BettyandBiddy.com. This is an initial necklace um, and they're really popular at the moment. 17 quid as well. I actually think this would be a, a lovely gift idea. It's not a Y for Yomiko, <laughs> but there's an initial on it. Yeah. Um, so this dress is a beautiful nude colour. Um, you know if you're going to a wedding you want to stay away from white, but I think you could totally get away with this kind of neutral shade, which is what makes this dress for me such a winner. Wear this one to a wedding, wear it to the races, you know, cash it down a little bit. It's all about the footwear and how you do that. Can we talk about the length? It's a ballet length dress and you and I are wearing something similar today. This isn't necessarily a popular length of dress that we would have seen everywhere last summer or the summer before, but women are really embracing it now. We were only saying it earlier, it's easy to wear, isn't it? Absolutely, this is, this is the new length definitely this year. Very easy to wear. You don't need tons of fake tan on your legs. Um, it's a very flattering length as well. Um, so it definitely is the length of the season every year. There's a length of the And you don't feel as bare either. either which I you like. don't. I think it's a kind of more comfortable wear. Mm. Definitely. So we've gone for some beautiful touches and the um, mixed metal bangles there and that beautiful white clutch there from, uh, from Costello and Costello. So this dress does come in a couple of different colours. Um, I love the nude one because it just screams summer but you can can get it in navy and red and all the different colors as well. The shoes scream summer too. They really do. It's time to whip out the espadrilles. Uh, and these are under 60 euro, which I think is fantastic. I've gone for the nice gray um, and neutral tones, but they Thanks do have them in different colors as well. And 60 Lovely. quid, you can't yeah, go wrong. And they're comfy as well. They are they very much. comfortable. I'm wearing a pair myself and they're very comfortable. Lovely. Now this is lovely. It's very pretty, quite youthful. Yes, exactly. Um, so this is kind of what you might wear again for a cocktail party during the summer. So we've gone for some really fun accessories in those pastel colors, the pinks and the yellows. Um, and I love the pearl detail on those earrings. I think they're really cool. And we know statement earrings are really big this season. Um, so this dress, I mean, bear in mind that this is a little bit shorter on Audrey because she is beautiful and tall. She's lovely and tall, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned cocktail party there. Does that always mean cocktail dress? Traditionally, obviously, that the hem would be shorter. Co but now you say that anything goes? Anything does go, anything does go. Typically it means a shorter dress. I really think that you could wear this to a black tie wedding as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously we've got it with a wedge shoe today. It's all about how you style it up. I've gone for those summer vibes with the bright yellow bag and the yellow and the pink, um, but you can dress this one up with a court shoe instead of our lovely stud uh, wedge shoes there. And that uh, light sister. sorbet color, that suits most women? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a pretty easy colour to wear. It's one of the hot colours for spring, summer. We've gone, you know, yellow overload with the bag from Costello and Costello. Uh, and this is actually real leather, but you, you can mix it up. And these bags, they're very cute. They, they um, come in different colours as well. They're going to fit everything. So yeah. you've got your hairbrush, your lip gloss, your phone, uh, the works. Really nice. I'm just sometimes a little bit conscious of the yellow tones because some can be well, quite strong. That's if lovely. If you're going for a more mustard tone and you're blonde and you've got fair skin, it's going to be be that little bit harder to wear but I really believe that those pastel colors work on most women. Now this is a showstopper. So okay. this she is our hero look and this is a two-piece. Is it it's really? a two-piece. Now you yes. have the long drop earrings because I suppose you have the bardo top. Talk to us through exactly. those Exactly so we're going really glam with this look. I love a statement earring, a drop earring um, and it's all you need with an outfit like this because you know you can see there the cinched in waist with the belt, the peplum kick out of the top um, and then the long tube skirt. So this is just 99 euro and this is actually a top 
and a pencil skirt. So you could wear this top with a pair of white jeans. You could wear your pencil skirt maybe with a white shirt and a cool pair of shoes. Loads of different ways you can wear this one, but I think it's a fantastic black tie look if you've got something super fancy coming up this summer. Can we have a look at the back of it as well, Gail's beautiful bow detail there. Peplum suits most shapes because it hides our tummy area, which I it love. It cinches you in at the right place and it kicks out in the right place. And this belt, um, you saw the bow detail there. We added that on, that's part of the set, but you don't have to put that on if you don't want to, if you feel like there's a lot of frills. So again, I've gone matchy-matchy with my shoes and my dress uh, with the pastel pink uh, court shoe with the, that stud detail, which is, I think is fantastic. And um, this bag, I'm loving this bag. So this is kind of a dusty pink. It's got quite a bit of pigment in it. Very neutral, going to go with a lot in your wardrobe this summer. Um, and it's gonna fit everything. Well, I know that you've kept the shoes and the bag pink, but because you've introduced texture, you've the stud detail in the shoes, and then you have texture in the bag as well. It sort of lifts the whole thing. Exactly, and it's all about playing to your texture. So all of those looks there, um, the clothing's from Carrie's closet and our shoes, our earrings are from Betty and Biddy and our handbags are from Costello and Costello. Judy, pleasure to have you in as always. Thanks and for gorgeous looks me. today. Thanks so much. After the break, why an obstacle course could be just what your four-legged friend needs. See you in a few minutes.